Ciao beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday, happy mid March. What time is going? So, almost springtime, and I thought it would be a great occasion to play and create some flowers. So, today we're going to be making some leaves, flowers, leaves, or flowers, or decorations, or embellishments, or whatever you want to call them, using this very simple origami technique. I'm showcasing my bright um, bouquet, very best sellers uh, digital kit of paper, but keep watching guys and I will see you very soon. Okay guys, welcome back to the messy desk. <laughs> uh, right, so happy beginning of the week um i'm on my own this week uh jamie is in skipton he's got his new job so he's doing um a training for five days so he's gone out this morning and he's going to come back on friday afternoon slash friday night so yeah boo got no friends got no company no it's nice it's nice because when i'm on my own i can just craft all day without being you know stop for food or you know it, it, i will eat don't get me wrong not gonna starve but it's nice to just spend some time you know crafting make the most of it so uh, i've just literally come back uh came back from lunch because i've been crafting this morning and i made quite a lot of things but before i show you today we're going to play with this kit which is my um one of my popular in fact after the imperial indigo you the second the second most um popular one on my website and it's called the bright bouquet it's a brand new kit and you guys loved it so thank you and it's very uh it's very 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 popular it's, again it's my second bestseller but let me show you the kit first Okay, this kit is called Bright Bouquet. I'll let you guess why. I'm hoping that the colours showcase on camera like as it should do because they are extremely bright. And I'm not, I must admit, I'm not a big fan of very bright colours, but this kit is probably now becoming one of my favourite. So it has uh, two colours as a main colour palette. It's pink and baby blue. It's like this... It's not teal, but it's not turquoise. It's in between. And I'm hoping that the camera do them justice. So you've got a couple of backgrounds. I hope you can see this wooden palette to fit. And you've got these really bright, very bright flowers. You can either fussy cut them if you wish to. Okay, I love these. This is my centerpiece, as I will describe it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at that look at this and what i did i did a layering of roses peony flowers leaves wooden effect texture dots so it's very intricate it's quite um yeah it's a lot of details on this uh wouldn't be in my kit without some tags so you can make your own tags and what i did here guys i put the pictures into four card space so they can be used as a card base or also as vintage cards you can either fold it in a half and make mini notebooks you can use this as you pleased then it's a it's a very full kit so you've got everything you've got some envelopes so this is a the scallop envelope and then this one here you just need to fold that and you get the envelope and we've got a page full of embellishments so you've got some balloons some tabs some flowers some big balloons so if you do like a celebrating card that's quite cool and last but not least you get two huge tags now with this guys what you can do if you wanted to it's just an option you can fold this like that and have two more envelopes and then you get three huge, nice, bright butterflies. So today we are going to be making some origami leaves. 
I made about 900 this morning and I couldn't stop. I'm using some origami papers. The, I got this, oops. I got this from Amazon. My scissors just fell out on the, the floor. I can't remember how much the pair, I, they were totally inexpensive. So I have stamped some of them. Um, and I left some quite plain. So what you guys need to do, you get square. It doesn't matter what size. The bigger the square, the bigger the leaves will be. Um, so on here, just to just to show you. So this is what I stamped with some flowers, and this is the plain version. We're gonna do two get two together, so you can see the different effect. So what you need to do, guys, you just need to fold it and create like a corsetina. So mountain valley mountain valley um, you don't have to be extremely precise i have not been precise at all <laughs> that is me um and then you just literally fold it like that and then what you do you just with the tip you end up having a triangle on top okay so you need to fold it with your triangle facing out so you just fold it in a half where that little triangle is there and then press it a little bit and then you're just going to put the glue there and then just stick it together just hold it for a few seconds this origami paper is a scream extremely thin uh, no nothing stop you to using cardstock or normal paper the problem is that it's going to be it's it uh, and i'll show you because I, I use some cardstock um it's going to make it really strong. So if it's, if you need something that is light, origami paper is the best. Of course, the the bigger the square, the bigger the leaf. But this leaf is quite small, as you can see. Tiny little cute. So that is printed. And then I'm using the same paper. And I'll show you again. So you just simply call Satina. It's very, 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 very simple. And this sort of project you can do, like if you're sat um, evening time, maybe you're watching a TV with your husband or you just on your own, just having a cup of tea. You don't know what to do with yourself. So you get that and cut some squares and have fun. I show you what I've done. I simply couldn't stop. <laughs> so they're very, very addictive. Okay, so that's the two lids. We've done what? Uh, how long did it take me? About 20 seconds. So that's the print, uh, the plain one. That's the printed one. Okay, so let me show you what I made. The starting point was to decorate my blooms because on this kit, there's a lot of flowers like that. So I chopped them and I have created a couple of cards. So this is one so look at the leaf so what i did i simply glue got the got the leaf and then i just simply glued the leaf behind it and created some decoration like that so this is one card you say love so as you can see oh yeah there you can see the leaf so love it and this is another card. It says, happy birthday to you. And then look at our lives. Love it. Then what I thought we would do, I thought like, actually, if you put them together, they will create the flower on their own. So I create a flower using orange, yellow, and red, these papers here. Uh, I, I've, I've done two, so you can. I, I wanted to show you the, the reference effect if you use printer paper or plain paper. So this is printer paper, and I have used some of my flowers sequins flowers. They shine. Don't know what you can see, but it does shine. Oh yeah, it shine. So that's one, and that is the plain one. This will be quite. A, they will look quite nice as snowflakes for winter. If you do like a christmas project so again exactly the same technique but two very different effect one with plain paper one with printer paper i do like the two coins the pink and the purple together um but yeah just to give you a couple of ideas
Then couldn't stop. Then, <laughs> then I had, do you remember last week, and I had them here on my desk, we made these rainbow, did we? So I had them in there and I thought, mm, what can we do? I want to use them. So I created this little embellishment. So this is the rainbow. I put two of the, the leaves, one blue and two was a blue, put a couple of butterflies, a bit of thread, and then put also, and they can be little gift tags as well if you want to, or like a little decoration. And then I would really, really like this. And I thought, what else can I make? What else can I make? Honestly, I couldn't stop. So I made, I had tons of these T-Molds pepper dolls. So I have used the pink and the purple and I created these like pink flowers with pink leaves. I mean, this poetic license so we can create, our leaves can be any colours the, of the rainbow. And I have one of the pink and purple rainbow and I thought to create this, this vintage decoration. What do you guys think? I quite like the contrast with the black and white versus the very strong colour. Again, you can do what you want with this. You can put it on your journal, you can create cards, you can do like a gift tag, which is put the initial. You can do what you absolutely what you want with it. And then, honestly, guys, I couldn't stop. So I made, <laughs> this so addictive, honestly, guys, so, so addictive. This is the last one. So I used my blooms from my kit. I put some of the uh, team holes ephemera one of the uh, little paper dolls um, and i have used i don't know what you can see but it's three different shades of green for for the leaves and created this little embellishment and i put some of the team holes ephemera there as well what do you guys think i mean just to give you some idea you with the same with this technique you can create something that is like traditional cards embellishment some vintage embellishment like these um little gift tags some flowers and honestly you can change the color combination oh you can do so many so many uh, what i also notice i want to do something and i notice how nice these three colors sit together the pink orange and yellow i absolutely love them so i'm gonna do uh, another all these flowers with these three colors guys just to give you some ideas um i love the blooms and then i think if you do something like that it's a really nice 3d card but honestly you can just play with these leaves and do something that you like so before we go just want to say a big shout out to the lovely francine francine is very active on my youtube channel she always takes the time to put a thumbs up and to yeah, leave a really, really nice, kind comments. Um, I'll put the comments on the screen now. Um, Francine, I'll try my very best to come up with some new ideas. But it's something that I sometimes find on Instagram or Pinterest. And, you know, things come through my my eyes. And then I'll do interpret it in my own way. As I said several times, guys, this is not a how-to channel. I'm not here to teach anything new to anybody. Um, I'm certainly not the first person to do origami leaves tutorial, but, you know, this is my interpretation. This is what I've, you know, how I use this sort of technique, and this is this is my aim of this channel. I'm trying to do something different um, and, you know, reinterpret and do techniques in my own way and um, you know sometimes they work sometimes it doesn't <laughs> but yeah i'm really really happy with what we came out today okay guys if you like this video don't forget to give me a really big big thumbs up because it helps the channel massively because you tell youtube that you like what i make so anytime you leave a thumbs up Thank you. Guys, I will put the link somewhere here on the screen. So if you watch from an iPad or phone, you just simply click on it. And it's the video where I showcased uh, this um, bright bouquet papers. So click somewhere on the screen now. It will take you straight to the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And until Wednesday, stay safe and well. Mwah. Bye.